G'day, I'm Craig Hole and I've been an agronomist with Landmark for over 25 years. It's estimated that the world's population will be over 9 billion by the year 2050. Feeding that many people means that overall food production needs to increase by about 70% without significantly increasing the amount of land used for farming. The increase in production must come from high yields while facing scrutiny from consumers, advocacy groups and regulators to incorporate sustainable growing practices. How do we succeed in doing this? What needs to happen within the production system of growing crops to increase yield without increasing the actual amount of land used to grow the crops? One tool available to address these issues is Foundation LM. To understand the value of Foundation LM, we need to understand the technology. Consider this. Nutrients aren't always available for the crops to use when you apply fertiliser. Many nutrients are susceptible to environmental loss while others need to be converted into available forms for utilisation by plants. It's only through the actions of soil microbes that many nutrients become usable to the plant. Microbes transform organic nutrients into usable inorganic nutrients through biochemistry. Biochemistry is a broad topic but can be summarised as the chemicals produced by a living organism. Some common examples include saliva and tears. For our purposes, biochemistry is the result of microbial life cycles. For example, the biochemistry produced by certain soil microbes break down organic matter, create compounds to induce plant root development, and mineralise nutrients. How does this relate to Foundation LM? Foundation LM is a biological fertiliser catalyst specifically formulated to increase nutrient availability. It has two key benefits, increased nutrient availability and improved plant performance. With Foundation LM, much of the microbial functioning that produces biochemistry happens during the manufacturing process and the grower receives both biology and biochemistry, providing an immediate effect on nutrient mineralisation. The plants don't have to wait for the microbial activity to occur before the mineralisation process begins, which allows the plants to make use of newly applied nutrients. Here's a look at how the process happens. As we enter a corn crop, we see compacted soil with standing water and yellow stressed plants showing nutrient deficiencies. Moving underground, we see healthy but underdeveloped root structures. The biochemistry and foundation LM can be used to increase the availability of the full spectrum of nutrients. Let's look at an example of this using calcium phosphate. The ionic bond between calcium and phosphate is broken by the biochemistry in foundation LM freeing these ions for other interactions. In this example, the calcium moves to the exchange site on the soil colloid and replaces sodium and hydrogen. The sodium is free to flush beyond the root zone with an irrigation or rainfall event, while the hydrogen bonds with the recently freed up phosphorus, forming plant available phosphate. The improvement in soil tilth from the balancing of the CEC base saturation levels allows the standing water to infiltrate the soil profile. Root tips can now intercept the newly available soil nutrients for uptake and utilisation. Biochemical signals coupled with the increased nutrient availability lead to rapid root growth and development, resulting in a healthier plant and greater yields. In a traditional soil nutrient cycle, as soil temperatures increase, microbes start to wake up and function. As microbial functioning increases, we get the production of biochemistry, which leads to nutrient mineralisation. That's when the nutrient becomes usable to the plant. As nutrient mineralisation increases, we have nutrient uptake into the growing plant. And finally, as nutrient uptake increases, the nutrient begins to work inside the plant, which leads to yield. With the addition of Foundation LM, we still have the same process as before, except we don't need to wait for increased soil temperatures to influence microbial functioning and for that functioning to produce biochemistry. We are applying the biochemistry straight to the soil. As soil temperatures increase, those increased temperatures lead microbes to start living and functioning. That's still happening. Then, as microbial functioning increases, we get production of biochemistry which leads to nutrient mineralisation, at the same time producing yield. As nutrient mineralisation increases, we have nutrient uptake into the growing plant. And again, as nutrient uptake increases, we have nutrient functioning which leads to yield. With the application of Foundation LM, we are avoiding any possible negative effects of abiotic and biotic factors between fertilisation 
and microbial function, between microbial function and mineralisation. Nutrient mineralisation and uptake happen earlier, at a quicker rate and to a greater extent, resulting in higher yield. In this example, you can see that on average, the use of Foundation LM increased the available phosphorus in the soil by 13 parts per million. It would take an additional 53 kilos of P to make the change shown in this trial. In a typical commercial phosphorus fertiliser such as MAP, which is around 22% P, you would need 242 kilos of applied fertiliser to get 53 kilos of P. And that is assuming it is all in a plant available form. The Phosphate Institute reports that applied phosphate is typically only 20 to 30% available for plant uptake in the first year. You can see how this 13 parts per million increase in available phosphorus can provide tremendous value. So how do we increase yields to feed a growing world population responsibly with a finite set of resources? In this video we hope we've shown you how Foundation LM can be an effective supplement to existing fertility programs to increase the efficiency of applied nutrients, in turn increasing yields sustainably.